What is up guys, Austin Rucho here, back again playing Ark Survival Evolved on the Ragnarok map. So we're here continuing on with our castle as you can see. No, we're inside of our little base. So inside the little like shelter base I built, you know, to be safe and secure and everything from all the danger. But I think we're good now because all of the castle walls have been built. Um, I'm not 100% or 100% convinced on my base. I also got my griffin and brought it with me, tamed up a dung beetle when, beetle when I was out gathering stuff up i saw it was like a 140 or something so it's pretty high level still not making any like uh uh whatever you call it um yeah oil or whatever the other thing is uh fertilizer still not doing that so my none of my bum dung beetles are doing that but i got the cow's wall built once again i'm not 100 percent convinced on if i like this or not like i don't know if i want to leave those doors there or not that go off to the side because I like them to have, of course, now that door's not going to open. Um, I like having, you know, access out the sides in case I need it. But I don't know if I uh, want that or not. And then I built the top up here. And I did, you know, try to alternate with the railings and turning them into half walls and then door frames. Because, or the actual wall, sorry. And so it left the gaps. I was trying to do with door frames and trying to, you know, put the railings and turning them into half walls inside of the door frame so it left you know like those small gaps and stuff but it didn't work it, it wouldn't work at all um well i mean it kind of did but it looked weird and then on ramps you can't switch these to the half walls so it looks really weird so um the base isn't perfect i'm gonna probably come up with something and do it a little bit different but i have the wall done so the castle wall is indefensible it's, or able to be defensible and stuff so in case anything attacks which i think we should be good i know we have the wyvern pit over here but again i've never seen a single wyvern at all in there so i don't know then i started building these turrets on here just you know little decorations on the outside of the castle um they're not perfect so as you can see i just did the triangles which looks like i need to put one down there um i just did the triangles and it comes all the way around but then of course there's a gap here or a missing one so i put one in so it kind of cuts inside which speaking of i do want to show the inside and then we'll sh go up on the wall so we'll just land down here get the griffin to run around so inside the wall we have all these doors that lead so you know you're inside of the wall which is what I wanted to do and thought it'd be cool. But up in here, as you can see, the uh, triangle part sticks into this area here. And then, of course, that's the normal wall. And if you take it out, it leaves a small gap to the outside there. So I had to leave it. So we have this going all the way up to the top where we have our wall. And so I just wanted to show that on the inside. And then we'll go back out and run up the ramp now. And so I just did this ramp because I thought it'd be, you know, looks more castle-y I should could you could say I was thinking about maybe switching those to stone ramps and then putting them as stairs because you know castles had stairs and stuff then over here you to get to the top there is a wood wall it's kind of like hidden though which you can then climb up and be on here and this does not look right Let's see if I can place this down again there we go and they should all be the same height now except for this one which I don't know if it will go shorter or not let's check though oh there we go and then usually I just fall out top here and then I was in the process of putting this because I kept accidentally falling off the side of the on the inside of the castle um I don't like this because obviously to do I had to put a foundation down a stone foundation down and then place a wall um, it's not perfect, but it does look the part and do everything and so it's a nice lookout point here and I'll probably put some turrets here just in case some wyverns do come in. You know, I'll point them out so they can, you know, shoot and try and attack any wyverns. So that's what I've been working on on the castle, which we'll probably do some more at the end. I started to place things down over in that side um, to work on it just to show you pretty much how I do it. But today I want to tame up something real quick. And as you saw one wandering around, there are horses around. And there is a unicorn, which I think I showed that in the last episode. So I want to go get that unicorn. Because my goal for this is to make it, you know, a castle. Where did I put? Oh, yeah. Is to make it, you know, an act, like an actual castle. So that's, oh, yeah, I do need that, though. 
I do have ceilings. I didn't think I had those anymore. So I will put my ghillie suit on and I will need to collect carrots, which there should be, hopefully these are carrots you can pick up. But let's go ahead and uh, put all our ghillie suit on so we're ready. I just want to try and you know, save as much time as possible. Oh yeah, we're getting quite a bit of carrots. I didn't know how many these would give. Of course, I have my own garden growing and I assume that to be it, which I think that is still quite a bit. So let's go ahead and place, oh yeah, place these in here and hopefully, I think it's the same no matter what. But let's go find us the unicorn. So I take a, the unicorn for sure and then any high level horse. So I may get more than one, which looks like we have some here. 50, which I haven't checked them at all. 140, so there's a perfect candidate. So let's find the unicorn first though, because that's the most important. I may have to cut a little to try and find it. Obviously it's an all white horse and hopefully nothing has killed it. Because I think it was about in this area. Ooh, is that it right there? So hopefully there's no more gigas around here. Ooh, it's a nice shiny horse. I think it may be it. And it is a unicorn. Ooh, a 95 too. I thought it was a lot lower last time I saw it. So let's go over here. There shouldn't be anything dangerous around here besides the, uh, what you call it, the uh, uh, Giga, if there is one around. Okay, so let me put the, I did not grab the carrots. Let me put them in my last slot. Give me your carrots. So they do have a lot shorter timer. I'll go ahead and just stick them all, just in case so I don't run out spoiling wise so I know I don't want to spook it so I want to get up behind it and I don't remember too much how you do this I remember you get on and it'll start bucking and stuff and you have to oh no Come here, horsey. Stop galloping away. Here we go. Oh, just one, I guess, tamed it. Awesome. That's so much easier. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And this is a female, I believe it said. Yeah, female unicorn. I wonder what that other one was. Let's go ahead and get off. You are following me. We'll put you on passive. I can't believe it was that easy. I figured, you know, it'd be a couple times. Okay, so let's go check out. If it's a male, that's even better. Come here, unicorn. I got a unicorn. I'm so excited to get a unicorn. My first one ever to have on this game. And it's a wondrous, pretty decent level. Obviously not the highest level, but a lot better than you could expect for anything else. And that took a lot shorter time than I was expecting too. So let's check another horse. And I may have to just fly around see if I can find any high levels. Were you the one? Nope, that's a female though. Oops, hit the wrong button. And where'd the other horse go? I like that blue pteranid on there. There's one over there. A female. So they're all females. I wonder if they're males. Not like it really matters. I don't know. Can you breed a unicorn? Uh, like I said, I've never had one, so I don't know much about them. But I will put this one back. And we will check on. Let me go ahead and put these back in the griffin just so they don't expire but I'm gonna fly around now and check to see if I can find any other griffins or er, horses <laughs> I'll get him right equus oh yeah I do have the saddle too so you can ride them without but I do have the saddle for it um, let's go ahead and give it some weight so we've got our 
pretty unicorn. Oh, this is so cool. Especially in this Highlands area. You know, it just fits perfectly. And eventually I would like to get a griffin, but of course I cannot get a griffin on my... I probably could, but I don't. With my skills and everything, I probably cannot get a... Uh, I keep saying griffin, a wyvern. So I may do a cheat type thing where I get find an egg somewhere in the wyvern pits. But then uh, I just spawn in like the milk or something because that's the problem I have is the wyvern milk to feed the baby so let's me go or let me go fly around see if I can find a horse I think that's I've checked that one a low level yeah 25 it is a male but it's low level um, let me see if I can find a pretty decent uh, male horse to go along with our uh, there are sh sheep over here too I wonder what if I can because I know I made the veggie cakes there's a horse there too are you a good Holsey? Holsey, Holsey. Are you a... Um, oh, and 90. It's high-er. And it's um, awesome colors. But let me see. Give me some carrots here. Let's see if we can tame up a sheep here. An 85. You're a female. Oh, no. Must, yeah, I have to require just veggie cake for it then. Well, that stinks. But let's, let me see if I can find a horse. Another one may end up doing that one, but let me see if I can find any higher. Oh, is that a blue horse? I may just have to do that one because it's a blue horse. Let's take a gander here. Oh my God, it's a female though. Male 25, female 55, 15. Oh, I may want that blue horse. That looks so awesome. But yeah, I'm going to keep flying around and see if I can find anything else. And I'll bring it back if I do. If not, we will continue working on the castle. So I will see you then. Okay, I couldn't really find any good males. I found a bunch of good females. Um, so unfortunately, not good enough. But So I think I'm just going to do kind of like a cool collection. So there's this blue horse here that we saw earlier. And then there is one, a purplish blue collar that I found um, somewhere else and it's pretty high level too but they're of course they're all females ooh that one I guess tamed right away well that was easy so now let's I'll get the griffin and stuff and we'll fly back to the base because it's just right over the hill and then we'll go find that other one and I'll tame that one up as well so I get three new horses today which is pretty cool. We ride him horsey. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one back and I'm gonna fly over to that other one and tame that one up. So I'll also show you that one as well. Okay, and the last one is all the way over here. And so as I mentioned, oh, did it just fall off the cliff? Don't fall off the cliff. Oh, it's kind of, hopefully I can get it out of here. But at least that should make it pretty easy. There we go. So we got three new horses. So this one, like I said, it's like a purple almost. There we go. So now we got these three. So we'll now take them back to base. There was another one here that's pretty high level as well. But I don't think, unless it's a cool color or something, I don't think I'll mess with it. Yeah, it just looks like a brown. So I'll get this one back to base now. I guess we'll just continue working on the base. Because as I mentioned, I assume this would horse taming would take a lot longer but apparently it not but um so i guess we'll just go to the ba back to the base and finish working on the like turrets or whatever you call them the corners of the castle and stuff so i will get back to the castle and i'll see you then and i'm back in on the outside here so get ready to put all of the, these walls up now as i've mentioned before let me uh, let me get off of the griffin there for a second there we go. And so now I'll just, so I have the foundations at, or the, yeah, triangle foundation. So again, it's just a normal foundation there and then putting a triangle. Out. And I did it on this side and then just fed it around and it leaves the little gaps. And then I just put another one in there. And so of course it sticks into the wall, but it's, uh, works out fine and everything. So place again, these all around here. Oops like that and then I usually just hop on the griffin 
and place the next ones up like that and then of course just keep going around so I'm just going to show this off because obviously I don't really have much else I did come up with something though not come up with some but decide on something okay and I'll just get the griffin to stop I can't get it to place there for some reason though uh, it must be in a this is the only problem is building with birds the Quetzal did pretty good because that's how I built most of this castle so um, that worked out pretty well so I may have to just get on the the Quetzal because for some reason the X thing doesn't work too well on the Griffin for some reason okay and so that made it up to wall height and so what I decided on which again it's still not perfect but I think I like just putting the door frames I like this look much better um, as the scenes compared to the wide gaps and stuff of this version of the wall so I'm gonna switch them all to that because I think it looks much more castly when they're like that so um, I still will have issues with the ramps but I'll still just have to leave those there unfortunately but now we can land up here and I th say I think I got everything but I forgot I was making stuff in the crafting station here so we will need those triangles and then I need actual scenes which I think are some in here yeah which will just I only need like a couple let's just go with like five because I think you only use a couple per thing so let's go with that now we'll run back up to the top this is the only bad part is just running all the way up and down and it's only on this side so I have to you know, use this to run all the way around and I don't I wish I didn't have to have this but like I said I kept falling off so I do need it pretty bad but um you can't like land anything up here so I was thinking about maybe because I'm thinking I may get rid of these doors over here just so I have you know can use like that room and stuff for the like castle building and everything um but either way if not I may put some ceilings out make like a little landing platform up there not exactly sure but let's go ahead and pick these up there we go and then now I will I need to switch some stuff out here put the, that there and then oh yeah that's the one that sticks out and it sticks out there and I believe it's yeah too high oops wrong one like that that oh I forgot to put bring in the foundation and everything but then you put these triangles all the way around like that and then you do the same up top and then once I put the foundation down and I put the walls up I'll then put a square ceiling up in there so let's run down real quick and grab the foundations the stone foundations is what I need run 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 should have brought like the horse or I guess the beaver does do stuff as well um, let's go in here I don't think I have any left so let's go with stone and what do I need wood do I have any wood hopefully because I didn't think to go out and gather stuff before doing this video no I do not dang it oh come on I don't have any hidden in here no I do not okay oops I just punched that thing and now I gotta get stuff to fix it so I guess I've got to go gather stuff because yeah the beaver is completely empty so I will go gather uh, wood probably need, usually do wood and thatch together so I will go gather those materials and I guess be right back so I'll see you then okay so I got the foundation placed there and now this doesn't line up perfectly let's see what it looks like from this side oh I did a much better job on that side I guess um, on the other side wow that's like I did it really good on the other side I did not do that well at all let's go ahead and place one of the ladders 
So I'm pretty sure, yeah, I did it just right on the front. It's hard to see. Oops, apparently I did not place it in the right spot. Nope. I don't know how exactly I get it to place because I can't really see it that well. Of course now, for some reason, I can't get it to place on this one. Actually, let's try something, see if it'll work. Let's go ahead and switch to a ceiling. Place the ceiling here off of this wall. Uh, that's not it, no. Why does it keep blazing like that? That's not where you belong. There we go. Now let's pick up that one. Now let's see if we can get, oops, a ladder. Nope, get out of there. What am I on? A wall. Okay, now let's try this. There we go, now let's see. There we go, so now we can climb up here. And then we can put our walls or whatever, door frames. Not checking to see if they are placing right. <laughs> Guys, last time, we obviously, I had them wrong. There we go. And so we finished up another turret. This one I have to be careful because I didn't put the stuff down. That was close. And so that's all there is to it. I'm pretty sure it's designed the exact same way, obviously. I may try and replace this wall here, try and get it better like I did down on the other side. Um, but yeah, so this um, ladder is really hidden. Let's see if I can get it to um, really uh, let's pick this up see if I can get any better whoops yeah it must just be the placement but it still works and you can climb up of course so that's what I'm gonna repeat now so now I'm gonna work on that and probably switching as many of these out as I can for the double door frames. But I just want to show you exactly how I was doing that. And then usually I go into behind the wall and take out the walls that aren't necessary. That's the only problem there is it leaves that weird gap with taking out, but it's you know so small. And then we're you know we're leaving the gaps from the door frames anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But I'm going to continue that now on these last two corners, and I think. That will, I'll bring it back and show you that. Like I said, I'll bait you a little bit of work on these walls here, at least get the front done. But I will bring it back and show you all that stuff to end off the episode for the day. So I will see you then. Okay, guys, and so I have finished all of the turrets now, and I think they are all pretty good. I've kind of played around and messed with a couple of them. I just need to go around placing all of the rest of the door things. But now you can see the ladders in each one of them. And they're all pretty close like to fitting into the slot so I think I did you know a pretty good job of getting them all to fit in so we now have turrets on each of the corner and I mean turret towers not actual turrets and but I will be putting turrets on them eventually as I get the stuff crafted up I'll probably put a couple on each uh, turret um, especially oops let's go ahead and can play some of these while I'm running around here but especially on the, this corner up here, like I said, it's mostly for in case any dragons come and, you know, try to attack me. Or if I'm flying around over there and dragons start following me, I can fly away, you know, towards the base and, like, lead them. 
to there we go lead them to the base and you know the turrets will hopefully take care of them and hopefully we will you know be able to survive Let's see where this goes that's one thing I've been dealing with when I said trying to fix and readjust everything I oh, know everything's fine now yeah there's not really any difference between any of them is uh getting the walls uh, like all set to the same height and everything and making sure there's not much difference going on because that's caused some issues as well like for the turrets and everything and even this one which I showed you at the beginning does you know li like pretty much line up as well so everything is pretty much all good to go of course we have that gap here so all I got to do is finish placing these all the way around the castle and then placing these uh, sh uh, railings down and turning them into walls and that's pretty much it I think as I mentioned I will take out these doors because um, I think space wise I may like just having a door at the front and the back um, but I did oh yeah I want to show this I did get a male uh, horse it was roaming around over on that side of the base and it was a 95 so I tamed it up just to have a male because it's definitely the highest level male I've seen so we got our whole collection of colors here we have unicorn um, our brown one that we just got now I'm stuck on all the horses aren't I so our unicorn our cool blue one and this one that's like a purplish white I can't it's hard that it looks white now but it looks purple and look at its feet I just think it looks so cool and they're all so cool my horse collection uh, but like I said I kind of want to uh, make this base like once I get done building you know I want to take the other dinos back and just make this like you know a castle so I want horses and the sheep and you know maybe a griffin because it's like a fanta fantasy beast type thing and then a dragon or wyvern and stuff would all be cool and everything to deal with but i thank you for watching this episode because i think there's nothing much else to do today besides me working on the castle so in the next episode you will probably see the castle complete and then next time we can start building inside the castle so over in this area here i want to build the, my house so obviously i'm not gonna live in that shelter thing i'm gonna build it over here make you know kind of a nice looking house design in this corner and you know then maybe work on some stables i gotta work up a crafting area you know because i have like the forges and stuff in there so a place to put forges because i do want to stick with those not the industrial you know to stick with like the fantasy type element on this but it's okay i wish you could get like a I don't know what you would call it like a um like the horse thing you know where they like neigh or whatever you know where they come off of their back feet I think they do it if you level them up do we have a level yes we do let's see no nope, it's just like prancing maybe if it, if you feed it or something I don't know it's being I need to figure out if they need food yeah, the food's going down. But I thank you for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed watching me or seeing me build a castle. And then, of course, taming some animals, some equuses or horses, whatever. And, of course, this beautiful unicorn. As you can see there, though, it's like a yellowish. I thought it'd be all white, but it's got like a yellow tint to it. Could just be my computer graphics and everything. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. And you can also leave a thumbs up to also show if you enjoyed the video or not. And don't forget to subscribe and help us on our way to 1000. We're over 600 right now. And once we hit 1000, we'll, we, we will be doing an ARC related giveaway. So if you like ARC and want to play ARC and stuff like that, you may want to uh, check into that and make sure you subscribe and everything so you don't miss out on that. But I thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.